periodic pulsating water, city water, pressure regulator replaced twice and problem went away for two weeks now back, and expansion tank replaced once. It seems to occur when the HW heater reheats and the pulsating is on a cold water line. I know it is happening because my fridge which has a water line makes a loud clacking noise, lasts for 10 to 20 seconds, if I open a faucet it dissipates. Pulsating happens in entire house. I am considering removing the pressure regulator entirely. HW heater has standard overflow valve at 150 or 300 psi which I doubt the town would push but wondering if maybe I have sediment in the tank? Last, thinking that the cycling of the HW on and off, every 20 minutes or C seems really frequent if I am not using a lot of HW, Bradford and White 48 gallons high efficiency unit. That be all I know. All work to be permitted and inspected. We keep going until you have the information you need. I come and go. Be patient. This is step one. Hello, welcome to Just Answer. Thanks for the through explanation. Your logic is sound. This is a tricky situation. It is especially tricky since changing the regulator seemed to work for two weeks. I have learned a lot about how this stuff works but not enough to solve the riddle, my plumber a tad baffled too, I even said a note to this old house but no reply. If this is caused by steam bubbles bursting in the water tank sediment it will be obvious if you are standing next to the water heater at the time. If you can arrange to be standing next to the water heater when it happens again, and then reach down and turn the gas off. Then if it stops within 2 seconds, it is steam bubbles forming in the sediment and bursting. A loose faucet washer will cause the problem but only when water is flowing through that faucet. There is a type of valve called a globe valve that has a washer in it that can can come loose and vibrate. If one of those was used anywhere in the water supply line that can vibrate and cause the problem. I will post a link to a globe valve so you know what they look like. I stood next to the tank while my kids called out the noise and could see a small but noticeable vibration slash movement of the cold water line. What causes steam bubbles and would turning on a facet cause the pressure to dissipate? I had thought about draining the tank but am baffled why replacing the regulator solved the problem immediately for a couple weeks. Re the faucet with loose washer, it happens when there is no water on anywhere in the house. HTTP colon slash www.google.com slash umgers. Um equals 1 and HL equals N and BIO equals 768 and B equals 346 and TBM equals ish and bit equals N.K. 3 higher 7 NFBR 7 M colon and img referral equals HTTP colon slash N dot Wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash valve and diocid equals more TW 5 CM and imgirl equals HTTP colon slash upload dot Wikimedia dot org slash Wikipedia slash common slash F slash F 7 slash valve underscore cross section. PNG and W equals 350 and H equals 400 and A equals PNUMS to seg 2 AXH 0 ASA then ZOOM equals 1 and IAC equals HC and VPX equals 78 and P equals 39 and DUR equals 3503 and HUV equals 240 and HUV U equals 210 and TX equals 110 and TI equals 266 and SIG equals 11495488768159870354 and PAGE equals 1 and TBNH equals 95 and TBNH and W equals 86 and start equals 0 and NDSP equals 12 and V ed equals 1 T colon 429, R colon 6, S colon 0, I colon 92. What is the function of a globe valve? Nope nothing like a globe valve. If part number 5 is loose, and the valve is not fully open, 
part number 5 can begin vibrating and cause the problem. Just a pressure reducing valve that has an adjustable range of 40 to 75 pounds per square inch. The system also has at least one shut off valve. Probably more at the water heater as well. If any of them are globe valves and not fully opened, that can cause this problem. You can also go to a hardware store and ask to see a 3 quarters of an inch globe valve dot and get a better idea of what they are. Ah, but I don't have any globe valves, they are all levers, new I guess. Okay then it's not a globe valve we have to keep looking. Both sides of the meter, in front of the HW tank, couple spots but all the same, I had the globe type in another house that was older, none here. The valves at the two handled sinks are all mostly globe valves however. But they would need to be open right? When this is occurring. You can experiment with adjusting the valves you have, in a deliberate attempt to create the problem. If you can find what creates the problem and create. Then we know what it is and can solve it. I only have three faucets like that, in the house, all sinks everything else is a single handle hot slash cold control. The mystery is why would changing a pressure regulator solve it temporarily? The idea is that we will not be able to define the problem from here. We have to go probing for it. My only conclusion is bad regulator, same supply house and maybe same lot slash manufacturing run. That is a huge mystery. The city water supply does however have to be shut off before the regulator can be changed. If I remove the pressure regulator entirely from the system I lose backflow prevention so the system is no longer closed and if pressure builds up it should dissipate back and not through the house right? That's an important point. It tells us to look at what changes when the city water is shut off. I solve a lot of these kinds of problems. I use a systematic approach. If I guess in too many different directions at once it's difficult. Solving the problem however is generally not difficult as I stay on track. I think if I remove the pressure regulator from the equation that any pressure would dissipate, maybe not solve the problem but resolve the effect. Right? Next step is go around listening and feeling with your hands next time it happens. Listen and feel at the backflow preventer dot and the water valves on each side of it. I use a mechanic's stethoscope for that if it gets difficult to locate the vibration. I will post a picture of one, auto supply stores carry them. HTTP colon slash www.google.com slash umgers. Um equals 1 and HL equals N and BIO equals 768 and B equals 346 and TBM equals ish and FIND equals BM and MIVG 9 NM colon and IMG referral equals HTTP colon slash www.jeepforum.com slash forum slash F12 slash strange knock after oil change 1350124 slash and DOS it equals UMA 3C1 TJDQZM and IMGIRL equals HTTP colon slash www.desenyoart.com slash images underscore 2 slash mechanics underscore stethoscope dot jpg and w equals 312 and h equals 312 and a equals menu on ask grg pack and zoom equals 1 and iact equals hc and vpx equals 75 and b equals 23 and dur equals 6585 and hub equals 225 and hub u equals 225 and tx equals 140 and tie equals 244 and sig equals 11495488768159870354 and page equals 1 and TBNH equals 93 and TBNW equals 95 and start equals 0 and NDSB equals 12 and VET equals 1T colon 429. R colon 0, S colon 0, 
I colon 73. Okay, had not thought of that. Tell me if you think this would work. I have a shut-off valve into the house before the regulator, from the street, so I can replace the unit without shutting off water at the street. I can have my plumber install an end around or a bypass I can enable around the pressure regulator, then I can isolate it. Foots? What you do is go around listening with the stethoscope when the sound is being generated and hone and like radar on the component making the sound. I would use the stethoscope before I did any expensive plumbing. Okay, but I know it is originating at the HW heater when the burner fires temporarily to heat the water, I isolated it to that. Guessing in cases like this can waste a lot of money. Question is why is the expansion tank not doing its job or the pressure regulator hash xxxxx not working? The expansion tank is not made to resolve minute pulsations. Can you tell me what sediment in the tank can cause? That is what I thought. If the sediment is deep enough, the burner heat boils the water trapped in the sediment. Turns it tea steam, and the steam bubbles burst dot and that creates the noise. Interesting. Draining essentially low cost. Do you know how frequently the HW should reheat water, assuming no active use? I had noticed as every 15 to 20 minutes the burner goes on and heats for a bit, that normal? Wondering of maybe faulty thermostate or something, maybe superheating the water. Water heater burner cycling every 20 minutes or so is normal. You should drain 2 or 3 gallons of water from the bottom of the water heater every 6 months for so keep the sediment from building up. Oops, had it 7 years, drained it approximately 0 times. Actually never drained any tank I have ever had, 4 homes over 20 years. You should also change the anode rod once every 2 or 3 years to inhibit corrosion in the tank. Those are both things that your plumber should be fully aware of and able to show you. If I drain I trust I would see the sediment? Yes. I am rapidly losing confidence in my plumber. If the sediment is too deep and gone solid however it will not drain. Sediment development depends on the local water conditions. Hard water issues, etc. Some plumbers are rocket scientists, some are not. So let's assume it is steam bubbles resultant from sediment. Would the amount of pressure on the line affect the amount of bubbles? Is there a relationship to water pressure and steam bubble activity? Trying to understand SND of a correlation to replacing the pressure reducing valve, something to explain a couple weeks. They earn about twice as much as a rocket scientist though. Water not that hard but 7 years dot worth a try. If it's steam bubbles they will stop when the burner is shut off or you turn the gas valve off, or set the thermostat down so the gas valve goes off. And also when I turn a faucet on right, we are talking minute pressure fluctuations due to them. You can open the drain valve on the tank now if you like, if no water comes out, the water heater is full of sediment. Oh crapola, good test, back in a minute. With faucets it's called chattering. A rapid fire vibration dot and real loud. Stay in touch, we keep at it until we get the issue solved. I got water from the tank, some minute sand, a little, when I ran three cups but not debris that I envisioned, I will hook a hose and drain several gallons tomorrow night and get back to you, I don't think that is it. Thanks. 
if you got water from the tank, deep sediment is not the problem. Water scale around the heating element could be a problem, but that produces a light crackling sound not heavy vibration. You need a mechanic stethoscope to track this down. Auto supply stores carry them, some will rent you one. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. You online? Question whether a toilet could be involved. Hello again. It can be any valve in the house that has a loose valve seat and flowing water. I could indeed be the toilet flush valve. The way to find out is to manipulate the float by hand and see if you can regenerate the noise. Interesting. I will play with that and get back to you tomorrow night. Good plan. See you when you get back. We're done. It was a toilet with a malfunctioning bulb slash valve, whatever regulates water into the tank. It was humming you could hear the pressure build up then the fridge in the kitchen's water line veil clack clack clack. Shut the water to the toilet off problem gone. Just can't believe a toilet valve could cause pulsating water in the whole house. Thanks for the help, rating and dollar on their way, thanks, Ian. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash y-t-h-i.